Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Admission time! I know quite a lot of the areas and villages and parishes around Gaul fairly well because I've frequented them a lot in my uh, 37 years of life. This one, however, is absolutely brand new to me. The amount of times I've come up to Gaul for various reasons, I've never once needed to stop or have any kind of association with this village. This might be one of the most interesting villages I've ever done as well, because I'm currently looking behind the camera at something rather large that looks like a church, but it's not a church. Let's see if you can guess what it is before I actually tell you. There it is. And that stands on the banks of the River Air. No, anyone got it? Well, it's a clock tower and you'll find it in the parish of Airmen. fact for you even though the tomato plants are free to a good home uh, I'm not taking any I don't like tomatoes <laughs> so someone who does I'm sure will pick one up from that lovely little stall
last time we saw the River Air on the channel, if you remember, was in Gowdle. That was ages ago. Um, it is down there. There's uh, a wall of nettles in the way. You can just about see it. If I stretch my arm out all the way, you can just about see the river there. Now, on the other side of the river, that is not the East Riding of Yorkshire. That is the district of Selby. And I think we're looking at the parish of Newland. Um, but I have to check it. I'm pretty sure that's Newland over there where that house is situated. Um, that's a very small parish. Uh, it's got a very small population. There's not really um, much in it, if I'm being honest. So that one will be a very quick one when we eventually get to that part of the Selby district. Right, I'm now going across there because as you can see, that's a lick gate and that's the entrance to the church here in Ermin. make me wonder I wonder if this little area on the riverbank with the picnic tables I wonder if this is an extension of the, the Percy Arms beer garden it would make sense it's it's directly opposite there's the pub there and I don't know would it be do you think airmen locals there's one for you is this an extension of the beer garden at the Percy Arms it would make sense. It would certainly make sense. And if, if true, if it is, it's a wonderful place to be, uh, to sit with a pint, I'm sure, <laughs> and overlook the river and watch the world go by.
right, there's not much left of the village to show you. I've still got to capture uh, the school, uh, which is a little bit further back towards the, uh, the main street, the high street. Um, I also still need to capture a couple of buildings which have caught my eye on the map. There may be something, there may be nothing, but <laughs> you don't know until you pass them. Um, and that's pretty much it really. Uh, there isn't really much else to M in village. Now the parish boundaries do cover um, an extensive area around the village, mainly to the south because to the north is, is the river obviously and over the river is um, Selby as I mentioned earlier. So um, at this point I think what I'm going to do in the video is I'm going to show you some of the other things that are dotted around M in parish because I have no plans to actually drive to them um, and film them. I'll just get some pictures and show you some of the other little landmarks. And they are little landmarks. They're not massive. Ma they're not massive by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, for example, there's a, a service station uh, on the M62, and there's an industrial estate. Um, I'll try and get you some pictures of those, and I'll put them in the video at this point. Right, let's go and have a look at the remainder of our Min Village. everybody I'm ending this one pretty much where I started within sight of the clock tower and yeah that's um, certainly Airmin's most amazing landmark but you have to admit it does have quite a lot of other features as you walk around the place which uh, set it apart from other villages in the area certainly uh, I, I found the uh, the riverbank walk quite interesting um, that's effectively a footpath which runs alongside the road and that's actually the public footpath when you think about it because there's no path on the road you have to walk down the riverbank and even though you can't see the uh, the river at most of the points along it um, it is it is the riverbank and that's unique um, yeah I don't really think there's much more to add to this really my first time ever in Airmin and uh, I see no reason to uh, to not come back in the future it's beautiful, <laughs> certainly one of the most beautiful East Riding villages I think I've done up to now. Right, I'm going to move on to my next village. I hope you've enjoyed this. My name has been Andy and I've been the Village Idiot. This has been the Parish of Ermin and I'm out.